So what's going on everybody? So this video is going to be over my filtration system and what I use in my back chamber. So in an all-in-one tank, uh, like you may know, um, it doesn't have a sump. Um, you can add a sump, but uh, the point of it is not to have a sump, to have all the filtration system in the back. So this is my 25 Lagoon and I've had some questions on how I set up my back chamber and things I use um, to help filter my system. So that's what the video is gonna be on. So let's get started. So we'll start with this first right chamber. So starting off, I have a Caddy by Innovative Marine. Um, you can use filter socks. So I do have filter socks right here, but I do like the Caddy a lot better. A lot of people say filter socks are a detritus trap. I mean, you hear that over and over again on YouTube. In my experience, that's not been what has happened. Um, filter socks are great. You just gotta maintenance some more. Um, they're, to me, they're just as big as a detritus trap as um, anything else, any other filtration system that doesn't get cleaned or uh, serviced properly. So um, I just think the Caddy is easier. It gives you uh, more options to customize um, your filtration system. So one thing I love about the Caddy is it's got this glass and it's also got these shelves in there. So it, it comes with two shelves. You can see these little notches right here. So you can slide the shelves and put them wherever you want them, which is awesome. These can be a little bit expensive, but I think they're well worth it. Uh, starting in this bottom part of the Caddy, I have um, a bag of, um, it's Seachem Matrix, that's what it is. So it's a bag of Seachem Matrix. So basically it's a, a porous rock material that helps uh, bacteria get trapped in there, the beneficial bacteria. And whenever your filtration system, when the water's coming through it, it helps break down all those undesirable um, phosphates and nitrates. And that bacteria eats it and it grows within that porous rock material. Uh, I like to keep it in a bag, but one thing about the bags, you wanna make sure it's a porous bag. So, you know, I've gone through different bags to find the ones that uh, work really well. Uh, one brand I like is called this High Flow Mesh Bag. Um, I got this on Amazon. You can see um, it's pretty porous. A lot of bags um, can be tightly knit and that makes water harder to go through. If you get to, to try to spill up, um, the water won't be able to go through the bag as easily. So the High Flow Bags, they're great. Um, moving on up, I have a bag of uh, Kimmy Pure Blue Nano. So this is what it looks like. Um, so it's GFO and carbon mixture, and that helps clean your water, polish your water with the carbon, and the GFO helps break down phosphates. Um, it's pretty great. I just have one in here right now, and I switch it out. Honestly, uh, try to do it weekly, but sometimes every two weeks sometimes longer, but for the most part, I try to do it every week, every water change or uh, every couple, every other water change. It just depends on how my phosphates are looking in my tank. If everything's going good, then I'll just leave the old one in there. If I see they start to creep up a little bit, I'll switch it out and it usually goes back down. Then up top, uh, I have filter floss. So this is just a uh, polyfill that I got on Amazon. Uh, it's pretty cheap. This bag lasts a long time. You just pull off a little piece and stick it in the top and that helps polish the water. Um, it's really nice whenever you're scraping the sides of the glass and all that stuff floats up. Um, it gets, it all gets caught in this polyfill, polyfiber, and then you can just swish that out and put some new in. So in that, I do have to change out like every three or four days. Um, Cause I do feed a little bit heavier. Um, so I want to, I want to take that stuff out as much as possible. So moving on over, I do have a skimmer. This is a bubble Magnus skimmer. Um, it's the nano one. Uh, it's great. Uh, you can customize how big you want the bubbles right now. Oops, thumbs in the, or fingers in the way right now. The bubbles are, uh, pretty far down there. That's cause I have my filtration system off. So the water level in the back is a little bit further down than it usually is, but usually it's bubbling up um, very slowly. 
and I have to empty out this uh, chamber right here every, I would say three or four days. And uh, it's pretty easy. It just comes off like that. And you dump this out and then you just place it right back on. Um, also, instead of having to unplug it all the time, like when I do want to service it, I did buy this and I can turn it on and off with just a switch. Um, or I can have it on for just an hour or whatever. I really just use it for the on or off. And it's plugged in right there, that, that white thing right there. So if I want to, I can turn it off or turn it on. So there it is off. And then I will say you gotta click it a couple times for it to register, but I like it. It's easy to service that way. I don't have to unplug it each time. Um, one thing about this bubble magnet, I might just do a, a completely different video on it, but you do have to take it apart and clean it probably uh, every couple of weeks, depending on how you know nasty your your tank is. But I'd say every couple of weeks, I do have to take it apart and clean it, which is kind of a pain, but it's an awesome skimmer. I would highly recommend it. You don't need a skimmer for the 25 Lagoon. It's pretty small, but again, I do like to feed heavy. I do have... One, two, three, four, four fish in here. Yeah, four fish in here. So it's it's nice to have. Moving on over, the middle chamber holds my auto top off. My auto top off is F zone. I got that on uh, Amazon. And then, dang, I forgot the name of the brand of my heater. Um, but if you go to BRS, it's it's the thin one. I'll leave it down in the description in the comments on the type of heater I have. I believe it is 100 watt. I love this heater, it's awesome. Very easy to use. Um, again, I'm sorry I'm forgetting the name of it. I probably should have looked it up before I started this video, but um, I didn't. So uh, there's that heater, it sets in there nicely. It's the skinnier one, so it is awesome to use. Um, it doesn't take up much room at all. When I do need to service my pump down there, my Mighty Jet, um, it's it's very easy to take in and out some of those thicker ones those glass ones or ceramic ones um, It's hard to get in there with all that tubing Moving on over That's where my auto top off water comes in right here and This is where my um, All for reef comes in so it just gets dosed about four times a little bit throughout the day but moving on, this is more about uh, my filtration system. Over here, I have a mini refugium. You can see I got a lot of sponge growth on there. But there it is, quite a bit of copepods. This is the secret to copepods. I promise you that is a refugium. This refugium is awesome, easy to use. It's just another one of those caddies. I took out all the shelves, put Chato in there, and put a Chato light on the back. I cut out the black, um, whatever's on here, not paint, but, but something that's stuck on here. You can just take a razor, cut it out, slap that on, and now you have a refugium. Easy to use. I have to take out some Chato like every month, every couple weeks. I just look at it every now and again, and um, then I'll take it out. But yeah, it's awesome. Moving over to this, this caddy over here. You can see I have a very porous bag. So I got that bag. I can't find another one that's that porous, which is which has been awesome. Um, I got it whenever I had my freshwater tank, just never used it. So I've had it lying around. But there's some more Sea Kim Matrix in there. This stuff works great. I never service it. I just leave it in there. And uh, I mean, my tank's doing great, so I guess it's doing good. And then I just have a little bit more polyfill up at the top, help polish the water. Again, I change that out every three or four days. So pretty simple setup. Um, for a 25 Lagoon, for some of these Nanos, you don't really need a sump. The uh, all-in-one chamber works great. So this is what I use. It's been working great for me. I've had great growth on my corals. Everything's doing good. Some of the stuff looks a little closed up, like those Zoas. Uh, I just glued them down. I just got them. So I moved some things around. But everything's doing really good. Um, uh, my nitrates are staying low, phosphates are staying pretty low, um, everything's working. So 
If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I appreciate y'all y'all watching my video, listening to me stumble over my words. Uh, I'm not the best public speaker, but I do enjoy making these videos. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And again, thank you for watching.